Hello everybody and how are you doing on this fine evening and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber if you are new welcome it is me it's Malcolm and I am so excited right now for a lot of reasons one I finally get to open and smell all these lovely candles behind me I'm just excited to do a different video than what I'm used to doing but I do have one one issue this lighting is a little bit off. I want to get in the mood, so give me one second and... There we go. And without further ado, let's just get into this. So, to start off, uh, gotta get in the spooky season, so I had to get myself a little candle holder. All you gotta do, just... Look at that, wow. Got me a little can holder to get myself in the spooky season. First of all, we have Marshmallow Fireside. And I know this is probably like, well, I've seen these scents before. I've never bought candles in my life until this year. Actually, this is the first ever candle I bought. It is a Yankee candle with pecan pie bite. I've always wanted to see what the hype is about. And by actually lighting that candle, it inspired me to get more. Also, I do have to give credit to this YouTuber called Nick Snyder. I watched his video. He had a cutout of Jacqueline Hill. It was hilarious. It actually made me want to buy candles from Bath & Body Works. So I will link his video in the description below. Marshmallow Fireside. We have toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized and all these candles have essential oils so I'm not gonna repeat that part over and over again so let's just do this it's not very strong but I'm pretty sure when you light it it gets stronger I know I know it's like pretty obvious but this is something I would put outside if I was like having an outdoor like cookout with family or something of that nature or like had like myself a patio or I could put this in like the kitchen when uh, we're cooking dinner uh, like a holiday dinner. I definitely like that smell though. Next, Salted Butterscotch by White Barn. Also Bath & Body Works, hold on. Let's get, let's get a focus there. Oh, that looks nice. We have Warm Brown Sugar, Sweet Cream, Pinch of Sea Salt, Melted Butter. I, I know butterscotch is like the old person candy, but I actually did like butterscotch as a kid. This might bring up so many memories. Let's just do this. Oh my. God. Oh yes, that smells exactly what I thought it would smell like. It just, oh my God. Hmm. I, I can't stop, okay, I need, I need to stop. I need to, I need to stop. That smells so good. <laughs> that smelled so good. I can just tell if you like that. That is something I will put in my bedroom personally, uh, or probably somewhere in the living room. Just a very welcoming smell. Next, we have pumpkin apple. Ooh, pumpkin apple. Red delicious apple, full pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, and clove buds. I've actually had a lot of coworkers at my job smell this and they say that this is their favorite, favorite one. Uh, they told me to make sure I didn't smell it because I told them I was gonna make this video. So shout out to them. I'm very excited because this is like the number one pick for everybody, it seemed. So let's just do it. Ooh. I will put this in like a bathroom or like a guest bathroom or like somewhere where a lot of people like go, but like individually. Yeah, I'll put this in like a bathroom or like a kitchen. That smelled really freaking good. Next up, we have one of the premium fall scents. And look at the design. That is very very beautiful and you can just I could just feel it I know you probably can't hear it oh that feels so good we have apple weather fresh farmstead apples lavender leaves and cinnamon bark love cinnamon let's do this oh my god look at the design on the top oh my god I love that I really do that was very pretty oh <laughs> that <laughs> That's a bedroom candle right there. That is something I want in my room. Matter of fact, I think I might light this after I'm done recording because that smelled, wow. Oh. People were making, people were trying to make jokes about me at work. Like, oh, you're really gonna like, 
do candles and buy candles and you're a dude and I said uh yeah because I like things that smell good and I know things that smell good oh my god that smells so good oh my god next up we have sweet cinnamon pumpkin Ooh. because it's fall I definitely wanted to get something pumpkin pumpkin uh looks like the pumpkin apple I already smelled earlier uh, I love the little picture on the front, um, so you could definitely put this like somewhere that people can see and just be like, oh, that's kind of cute. I do love the orange because, you know, pumpkins are orange. Orange cinnamon, fresh ground clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. This seems like it's going to be strong and sweet, like candy. I, I'm not quite sure, but I'm excited. Let's just do it. Wait, you know what? This smells like... I don't know it may, how old any of you are that are watching this right now or watching me. This smells like big red. This smells like big red gum. Oh, that brings back so many memories. Yeah, it smells like big red gum. I like that. I really do. I would put this in a kitchen. I would definitely put this in a kitchen. Maybe kitchen or a bathroom. I wouldn't put this in my room. I want people to smell that. Like there are certain smells that I would want to smell for myself. And then there are smells I want everybody to smell. That smell like big red cinnamon. That smelled really good. I'm having a ball. If you're having a ball, please like and subscribe because I usually don't do videos like this. Next up, we have Pumpkin Donut Shop. And look, look at the top. Oh my God, that is beautiful. 3D, and you can just feel it. Oh, that feels so good. This one has glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, sprinkled with powdered sugar. That just sounds like it's gonna smell fantastic. And this definitely sounds like a kitchen scent. <gasps> Whoa! I mean, this makes me want to eat a donut. It really does. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, I'm lying. I will put this in my room. <laughs> Woo! This might this might be the, my favorite. This might be my favorite. Woo! <laughs> Another fall flavor. We have harvest gathering. Again, another little cute design. Very nice, very nice top. Fresh picked apple, autumn berries, and clove buds. I don't know what clove buds are, but they smell delicious, apparently. <laughs> so, well, let's just do this. Ooh, that one didn't hit me like I thought it would. This is more so like a, yeah, this definitely smells like fall weather. Like, this reminds me of raking leaves mmm okay this is something I will put in the living like in a living room setting you know make make my house like smell welcome if I had a house I am too poor for a house so that's why I only have a room right now still not still not ready for the Halloween scent yet I have two more fall scents this one I couldn't help but smell because it was so strong through the lid this is pumpkin pecan waffle I don't know if it's gonna focus hold on Pumpkin pecan waffles. We have maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. That sounds like a bakery smell. It sounds like a kitchen smell. It sounds like something I want to put in my room. But let's 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 just sniff it and let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Look. Okay. This is going in my room. Are you kidding me? This is. Whoa, that is so strong. No wonder I could smell that because that is so strong. Oh my God, wow. These, these pumpkin scents are killing it. That pumpkin donut shop and the sweet cinnamon pumpkin killing it. But this pumpkin pecan, well, oh my God. What in the, wait, hold on. Wow, that was strong. <laughs> last fall type of scent this was the last one in the store at bath and body works so it must be good because this was also listed as a online exclusive but it just looked like a uh, different uh container we have strawberry pound cake like like I love the pink by the way I do love the pink like I know guys aren't supposed to like pink but I mean come on like it's 2020 pink is a good color get over it fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream oh not that many ingredients 
but strawberries are actually my favorite fruit to eat like as a snack so i obviously like love this already so i'm excited uh i think i had my coworkers smell this one as well and i think they love this one too so let me just see what all the hype was about <gasps> Whoa. okay like hold on okay <laughs> this is a oh i would put this in the kitchen not because like it doesn't belong in my room or anything but i would just like, I would want to walk in the kitchen and have it smell like this because it will make me want to eat, <laughs> like, anything. So, oh my god. This is not fair. I bought too many candles. And it, it, what's funny is I actually have more coming in the mail, but I'm going to save that for another video. And I know y'all probably like, oh my god, you're being so extra right now. I'm really not. This is how I actually act all the time with things like this. I was so excited to buy these. I kept posting about it on my Facebook and talked to my coworkers about it. And they were just like, you're really into candles. I was like, absolutely, because I need something to do during quarantine, you know? So this... I'm gonna actually try to sneak this into my parents' kitchen and see what they do. They might not do anything. They'll probably just be like, put it back in your room, which is fine. Okay, I'm, I'm, we're finally here. Halloween scents, and Halloween in general is my favorite time of the year, and especially with the way the world is now, I needed something to look forward to. So these were actually like one of the first few scents I actually bought. So I'm actually very very excited to finally sniff and just enjoy and just i'm ready to light these but i'm not gonna light all of them at once that'd be kind of crazy but first up we have midnight boo citrus like if you just look oh my god look at that design wow just look at that wow like wow i love it we have Dark citrus zest, moonlit spring water, and sweet poison mango. I don't know if these are play on words for Halloween's sake or, or, or if these are real things, but I do love the names. It, I just feel like it's gonna be a very, very strong because citrus, like how strong the scent is. So without further ado, you know what? This, this didn't hit me like I thought it would. This is a this is something I would put in the bathroom after I finish cleaning and I would want to light something up to like make the bathroom smell better than after I cleaned it. So this is definitely like, yeah, this is, I can envision myself like lighting this and putting this in the bathroom after I finish cleaning. Obviously the design is beautiful as it is and I probably might not like this because I like looking at it to be honest with you. Like it's so pretty. Like that's pretty. All right, here we go. Another one, another design. It's like a bat design. I love that. We have ghoul friend. Yes, ghoul friend. I think this is like a strawberry one because I can just smell through the cap already. What we have here is, yep, dark strawberries, ghostly peony or peony. I don't know how to say it. It's P-E-O-N-Y. I don't want to butcher that too much spine chilling citrus yes these are all like spooky puns of like scents let's just dig in Ooh. you know what mm. and also look at the pink oh my god not that strong but i feel like once you light it it'll become strong like super super strong this is something I would put like while I'm cleaning, if that makes any sense. Like if I'm like cleaning my room or something and I just wanna like smell something decent while I'm like walking around the house or like walking around my room. Yeah, I like this. I really, oh my God. I I love all these candle scents. This is, this is great. I love this. These are probably the most sought out scents in terms of like the three wick candles from Bathing Body Works. Actually like two of these are actually sold out so I was luckily able to get uh, all three of them. Uh, one I had to get off of eBay which is the Hot Cocoa and Scream and then the other one that 
just ran out in stores was the Perfect Pumpkin. They still have like vampire blood, I think, in stores, but I'm not sure. I don't need to go back and check because I already got my scents, so that's good. The first one we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna go with Perfect Pumpkin first. And look, just look how spooky this is. Like, look at the design on it, first of all. Like, that, that is beautiful. Like, look at, like the orange because it's pumpkin and then, you know, the pumpkin field. I, I love that part. Of course, we got the uh, spooky pun names. We have Perfect Pumpkin, which is like perfect pumpkin, P Black Cat's Clove, Ghostly Vanilla, and Fatty Brown Sugar. I love the names. I love that they Bath & Body Works just has fun with these kind of names. But without further ado, let's do this. Hmm. Not very strong off the uh, initial smell, but this also smells like Big Red. That's kind of weird. Yeah, this smells like Big Red. <laughs> Another one. Very decent, very decent. This is something I would definitely put in my room just to give it like a natural smell. Or I would put this like if I had a patio, uh, I would put this on the patio just to give it like a, uh, huh. yeah like on a patio or in my room, just kind of like give it like a uh, fall scent. Cause this is one of those, this is one of those. I definitely liked it. Not that strong, but I'm pretty sure once you light it, it's gonna smell really, really strong. Next up, this is one I was kind of like iffy about and then I just kind of like read the ingredients and I was just like, okay, maybe just the name is kind of throwing me off, but we have Vampire Blood. And just by looking at like the design already, like I love this, like look at that. That is a that is great artwork. I think this is a strawberry one too, yep. Blood red strawberry, midnight blooming jasmine, and dark Transylvanian plum. I've never seen a plum in my real life, but from what I've heard, plums smell really, really good. So strawberries and plum together, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like bomb. And I was right. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Leave a like if you like my singing voice. Oh. This is going in my room. This is staying in my room. This is not leaving my room. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, that, that smelled great. Woo! Oh, that smelled amazing. Last, but certainly not least, this was probably the number one candle I saw sell out. And this is probably the number one candle that I see people begging for. I actually, this is the one I had to buy off of eBay because I can't find it anywhere else. This is the Hot Cocoa and Scream. Oh my God, just look at the design. I love the witch on the front. I really do like the witch on the front. That's a cute taste. I smelled this when I got it off eBay through the box and it was so strong, but I never like smelled it. Smelled it like, like actually from the candle itself. But I just know this is gonna smell amazing. Well, let's go over the ingredients. We have deep dark chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mischievous mini marshmallows. This, this, this isn't fair. Oh my God, oh my. This smells like powdered chocolate and chocolate, I love chocolate. So, Oh yeah, yeah. This, this, oh my God. Oh my God, this is an S tier scent. No pun intended. Oh my God, I just wanna keep smelling this. Like, oh my God, I wish you could smell it. I just wish you could smell it. I'm gonna leave this open actually. I just want, I just want the smell to waft me for the rest of the video. That's. That, that was the one. That was the one. I can see why that sold out everywhere that I was looking for it. That 
I'm so glad I bought it when I did for, from eBay because they're like like 40 to 60 dollars right now on eBay which is crazy that there's like a, a resale value for candles but when it smells good it smells good that smelled good all these scents smell good obviously I think my favorite one was the hot cocoa and scream and I think my second favorite one to be honest with you would be the vampire blood uh, obviously I'm gonna probably pick all Halloween scents because I'm biased but actually the third my third favorite one was probably actually I think it was the um, yeah I think it was the pumpkin donut shop I think that was my third favorite and then of course you have the candle holder oh my god that's gonna look so pretty at night when you're like lighting it up oh my god that's gonna look really pretty like really really pretty so that was me smelling a bunch of candles that I bought from Bath and Body Works that was I guess you want to call that a massive haul but I don't know what qualifies as a massive haul I actually don't know what I'm gonna title this until I probably upload it but I had a great great time I did not know smelling candles could be so fun and like entertaining I hope you had a good time maybe I convinced you to buy a candle or two I don't know Bath and Body Works did not sponsor me but I like to give credit where credit is due because I've had some issues with customer service and they've actually helped me through a lot of it so I would like to give back, you know, you know, give credit where credit is due, like I just said. So if you want to go buy some candles, go do it before they sell out because these scents, like some of them took like a week or, like, or more than a week to get to me, but it was so well worth the wait. Like these smell so good. I'm going to have so much fun like burning all these and just like putting them uh, where I see fit. I'm probably gonna try to sneak one or two inside my house to make it smell a little bit better, but we're not gonna tell my parents about that. So once again, that is all I have for today. Once again, it is Malcolm, that's me. I have a subscription button up here because I will be doing hopefully more original content like this. I'll also have two other videos over there for your own free time. Without further ado, I wish you well, I wish you good health, and I will see you again next time.